Welcome to this edition of Bullseye. How are we getting on through the winter? Are you weathering it all right? We hope you are. We've got six people tonight. We hope are going to weather the show well and make a lot of money as they play Bullseye. <laughs> Nice firm handshake. And Alf, nice to have you yep. both on the show. And you're from oh, Wall's End. Wall's End on tap. Newcastle, that's right. What do you do for a living, Vic? Long distance driver. Long distance driver. You're a good darts player, Vic, aren't you? Do you spend. Like I, I love all this modesty, and all these lads are all very good players, and they say, well, you know, and all day they've been getting hundreds and hundreds and forties. Tell me, how do you get a chance to play at being long distance? Are you, are you away from home a lot? Are you home every night? Take me daughter with me. Oh, and you play wherever where you stay? Where that's good, that's good, that's excellent. And you play for? Mauritania. You play? The Mauritania? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's named after, you'll have a lot of passengers in your team then. <laughs> tell, tell us about, you, you, if I've got to explain these jokes, don't bother. <laughs> You're into judo, Vic, aren't you? No, I'm out of it, no. Yeah, why, why have you stopped? Well, we took my with a black belt. So they're throwing you about, so yeah, you're practicing. Yeah, unconscious. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what about you, Alf? Are you married? Yes, Jim. Where did you meet? Uh, we both worked in a bakery. You met in a, bur a bakery? A bakery, yeah. You felt you needed one another? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, that's, I think that's good, that, <laughs> don't you? I don't think that's bad at all. Not too bad, that, is it? Good gracious me. And, and then you went, you worked somewhere else. Where did you work Yes, sir, I worked in the rope works. In the rope that's works? Yeah. That's where you got spliced, is it? Yes. <laughs> You're brilliant, these, aren't they? You've got some, you've got some particular aversions, haven't you? Particular things you don't like? Uh, decorating and snakes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's like, I, I don't like snakes and ladders. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night with us. We know you do very, very well. Off you go. I'll sit down and relax. We'll see you in a minute. Now then, Des, how are you? Hello, Jim. And Ted and Trev, that's right. And you're uh, Her Majesty's Forces. That's right. And yeah. you've come all the way from Aldershot to see us, haven't you, now? And, and Des, what do you do in the forces? Well, I teach drill and skill arms to recruits. That's really? Weapon handling. Yeah. Oh, the National Super well, before your time. Oh, I can't stand all that ball. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. You're into sport, aren't you, sir? Yeah. What, well, sort of, what sort of sports do you play? Do? Rugby, squash, cricket, anything with a ball. Really? Yeah. Uh, you're re uh, are you a good player? Are you one of these guys who can do most things yeah. fairly successfully with the ball? I think so, yeah. And you had a spate of injuries, didn't you, Des? Well, first five games in rugby, I broke my nose, two ribs, two fingers, got carried off twice. So, uh, you really? Yeah. And you carried on, of course, because oh, yeah. you're obviously mental. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can only say that on telly because he's a big lad when you see him stand up, dear me, he doesn't stop. <laughs> And you've got an allergy after your death. Oh, yeah, the mother-in-law. I, um, <laughs> I went sick with lumps on my neck, and the mother-in-law was staying at the time in Germany, and the doctor told me it was a mother-in-law. I'm allergic to it. <laughs> well, it's you'll just, be watching this at home, and uh, there we are. It's going to kill me for saying What a that. wonderful way to destroy a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Trev? Nice to have you on the show. You're into sports as well, Trev? Yes, I play rugby and cricket. Yeah, yeah swimming. Is it, I mean, obviously in the force, it does encourage this kind of thing, doesn't it? And oh, it yes. keeps you in, in, a, in a good physical state to do it, doesn't it? Yeah. We went out to Germany last year, you know, with a, a great time out there at the Royal Army thing. They didn't half look after us. Yeah. Tremendous, but so fit. I mean, what made me, I really felt really in, quite in, in... What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I felt quite, you know, not fit when I saw all these young strapping lads. They were big fellas. And your, and your, uh, your hobby? Um, I brew beer. You brew beer, so yeah. you're a, a regular soldier then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell us a story about uh, you, your wife. You played darts, didn't you? Oh yes, uh, we're playing in the sportsman's club in Aldershot, yeah. and we have a competition every couple of weeks, a darts competition. Yeah. And up until this uh, certain night, I'd won it three or four times, yeah. and I was drawn to play my wife in the first round, and she knocked me out. She knocked me out. <laughs> yes. Well, so that, the marriage quite is still, embarrassing. <laughs> still together, though, aren't you? Oh yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. I mean, you can handle defeat with. With grace. Dignity. Yeah. And dignity, <laughs> absolutely, sir. Have a good night with you. We hope you don't handle defeat tonight anyway. Off you go, Trev. Thank you. Now then, Jean, the only lady amongst these, these fellas. Nice, isn't it? Isn't it good? Isn't it good? How are you, Bob? Nice Very to well. see you. And you've come all the way from, let's see, Hemel Hempstead. You've got a family of four, Jean. Yeah. And, and where do you, do you work now, sweetheart? Yeah, I'm a barmaid at the moment. Are you really? What's the name of the pub you work at? Marchman Arms. Marchman Arms. Well, that's good luck. Get your free drink when you get back home. I hope. <laughs> what did you do before you worked, worked in him? I worked in the dark room at Kodak. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's fine. Well, it's only four things developed. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're a good darts player, Jean. We've watched you today. And you play for three teams, don't you? Yeah. And you, you beat Bobby George once, didn't you? Yeah, he let me. Did he? Yeah. Well, how did you beat him? Was it because Bob was scoring, was it? Yeah. Is that what he was? He's a good player, isn't he? Yeah. Great character as well, isn't he? Good value, isn't he, on the circuit? That's excellent. Tell us a story about when you met Muhammad Ali. It's a great story, this. 
Oh, yeah, with knockout. Yeah, yeah it's knockout. <laughs> yeah. well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Bob, what do you do, sir? Um, I'm slitter and cold rolling operator. Cold rolling operator? Yeah. Now, what exactly is that? Well, we slit steel down to the required width and then roll it down to the required gauge. I see. Well, we all know exactly what that is now. Yes. That's very good. <laughs> and you, 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 where are you from? Are you from Hemel Hempstead all your life? No, I come from Poplar. Cockneys. That, that's not. Yeah, you both Cockneys within yeah. the sound of Bow Bells, yeah. 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 So you got out of it all and went out to the stockbroker belt, almost, yes, sir, isn't yeah. it? Yes, you look very upmarket to me. <laughs> with the, yes, all your buttons are on your shirt, I can tell you, obviously. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you saw <Yeah>. my... <laughs> and you, before that, you were a milkman, weren't you? Yeah. That's yeah. right. Well, and family, you've got four. Four, so you're always uh, both very cooperative. Yeah. Milk. <laughs> 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 we'll sit down. <laughs> right. We'll get, give him another applause, our contestant tonight. Super. Well done, James. Good girl. Six, uh, six uh, delightful people there. We've got an audience tonight who are well aware of the rules of bullseye and they know that if the dart player hits the bullseye, he can score an incredible £200. Ooh. What can I say about that? Well, well, well. Questions in the first round are worth £30 each. Let's get on with the game. We wish you all the very best. Let's see if you can rob us absolutely rotten. Come on, Alf. Sport, please, Jim. We'll try. Come on, Vic. Sport we want, sir. Good start. Right in the middle. £50 you've got. For another £30, Alf, who beat Steve Davis to win the World Snooker Championships in April 85? Dennis Taylor. Dennis Taylor, that very, very funny Irishman. Excellent. Trev for Des. Um, words, please, Jim. Words. All right, come on then, Des. £50. For another £30, Des. Sorry, Trev, I'm sorry. What does a ufologist study? What does a ufologist study? I don't know. There's a light on and we'll take you, Bob. Flying saucers. I've got to give you that. It's 30 pounds, unidentified, flying object. UFOs. Bob, for Jean. Uh, history, please. History. All right. Come on, Gene. History one, sweetheart. There you are. Got your £30 there, Bob. Well done. For another £30, what was the Christian name of the great religious reformer, Luther? You can probably work it out, Bob. And there's a light on. Jean, not a word, but we can talk to Alf. Morton. Martin is right. After whom came Martin Luther King, the, civil, the US civil rights leader. All right, let's look at the scores. Very interesting. Alf and Vic, £110. Trev and Des, £50. Bob and Jean, £60. They're going well. <laughs> Questions in the next round, you know, £50 a question. The subjects that are lit, they're the ones you can choose. Come on, Alf. Affairs, please, Jim. Affairs we want. That's £100. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, audience. That's marvellous. All right, here we go. For a further £50, Alf, what was the name of the intruder who broke into Buckingham Palace and the Queen's bedroom in 1982? Michael Kelly. It's not, and we can offer it, Trev. Fagin. Yes. We've got to get the surname is enough. It's Michael Fagan. You've got the right, yes, you've got the right country. Almost, oh, it was Irish extract, wasn't it? Come on, Trev, you're looking good. Uh, spelling, please, Jim. Spelling, right. Come on, Des. <laughs> no. He's gone into faces, so there's no bonus. But here we go for £50. Look at your, bo look at your monitor. Whose face is that? Looking at you, Trev. Might be a bit before your time. He's all is in, no. and I'm looking for a light from either, either of the other two boys. You will know it, but never mind. There we go. It was Bernard Levin, the journalist and critic, and Alf did know it. All right, Bob for Jean. Britain, please. Britain. Come on, Jean. Yes. Thirty pounds for another fifty pounds, Bob. In the grounds of which famous London building? Does the annual Chelsea Flower Show take place? I'm looking for a light. And none of you are going to tell me. Ooh, Trev. The Royal Hospital. Chelsea Pensioners Home. 
OK. Well, now, what a fascinating situation. Alf and Vic, £210. Trev and Des, £100. Bob and Jean, £90. Well, they're going all right. <laughs> Move on. Questions, £100. Any two can go through. It's so close. We've got left these subjects. Places, showbiz, books and spelling. Just the four categories. Alf? Books, please, Jim. Books. All right. Come on, Vic. Books we want. It's the wrong category. It's words and the category's gone, so we can't ask the question. Trev for Des. Uh, we'll try spelling again, please, Jim. Spelling again, please. Spelling again. Under pressure, you're handling it, boys, aren't you? £50 you've got. For a further £100, Trev, can you please spell discotheque? D-I-S-C-O-T-H-E-Q-U-E. Let's check it with Bully. D-I-S-C-O-T-H-E-Q-U-E is right. Gets you £100. We move on. Bob, for Jean. Books, please, Jim. Books. All right, come on, Jean. Books we'd like. She's there. She's got you £30 there, Bob. And this is for a further £100. MMK's novel about romance in the East was televised in 1984. What is its title? And there's a light on. <laughs> Bully's in. Alf, you can make yourself 100 quid here, sir. Jewel in the Crone. It wasn't. A very similar television series, The Far Pavilions. Never mind. I could understand you getting that answer as you did. Alf and Vic, £210. Our two army boys, Trev and Des, 250 But Bob and Jean have got a goal. They're taking with them £120. In you come. <laughs> Give them a round. <laughs> Good girl, good girl. You were going very well there, weren't you? You were going nicely. Well, there we are. There are your bullies. Take those with our compliments. And I'm, I'm going to give you £120. There's a hundred, ten, twenty pounds Spend it wisely. Stay it, though, because they have been known to come back. You know the first couples have been known to come back. Take that with, you, with our compliments, Jim. Your bullies, your badge and your darts. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You've been smashing. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Let's have a look at this now. Traditional match play dartboard. We've got to lose a couple, as you know by now, because only one couple can go through to Bully's prize board. And we hope to win some marvellous prizes. Darts against each other. Pounds for points, boys. Vic, up to the hockey. Here we go, Des. That's fine. All right, Vic. First round. It's five. Twenty. Another 20, 45. Okay, Des, 45 to beat. It's one. 20. And that's a seven. That's 28, so the first round to Vic. It's a 45 pound question, is this? Here we go, Alf. 45 pounds. What emblem? is on the back of the two-pence coin. The Prince of Wales, fellas. He's right. Gets you £45. Oof, look at this. £255 playing 250 Back to Tony. Another closer for Vic. Second round. <laughs> 20. <laughs> One. And a five, 26. OK, Des, 26 to beat. It's outside the board. That's treble 20. Another treble 20, 120 score. <laughs> um, this can put you almost safe, boys. May the 8th, 1945, was VE Day. What do the initials VE stand for? Victory in Europe. Victor Victory in Europe gives you £370, playing 255 back to Tony. Still a chance, Vic. Last round. It's five. Trouble one. And 20, so 28 this. That's the score to beat. 
20. Treble 20. Another 20. 100. Okay. Very good. Trev, here's your question. Your partner hasn't let you down tonight, has he? He's done well for you. Here we go. How many faces does a cube have? Six. Six gives you a further £100, which means Vic and Alf with £255 can't compete with 470 for our army, lads. So it's Vic and Alf in your come, boys. You've done well. Give them a round of applause. You've done very well. Well done, boys. Well done. They didn't half get their act together there, did they? they re that's as good as we've had, I think, in five years. Well. They did play well, didn't they? And delightful fellas. As you are. Uh, <coughs> as you are. <laughs> there are your bullies and your tankards. Glass bottomed, so that you can see how, how far down the glass you are. Or how much further down you'd like to go. <laughs> I don't know why I started that. Uh, it's going to take me two minutes to count this. See you back on the hockey, then. <laughs> two, five, five. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Bullseye. Here we have the professionals throwing for charity, as you know. And as well as getting money for charity, he's working hard to try and win our bronze bully. He's uh, quite available and very, very valuable and means a lot to the professionals. We've got a guy tonight gracing the professional scene fairly recently. He joined it. He's from Surrey. He's an England international. We'd like you to welcome his first time on Bullseye as he throws for charity, Richie Gardner. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Richie. Best of luck, lad. Twenty. Twenty. Treble twenty. One hundred. Good start, Rich. Twenty. 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 Sixty. So one hundred and sixty. Three to go. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty. That's two hundred and twenty scored. We <laughs> come back the first time. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. That was so close to really nicking the bronze bully, wasn't it? They were all very, very close, yeah. weren't mm. they? Nice to have you on the programme for the first time. Yes, thanks for inviting me. Uh, oof, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Now? Yeah, it's very difficult. It is, because yeah. we only give you one bite, has it, don't yeah, we? Yeah, very difficult. You're, uh, you're the Belgian Open champion. That's right, yeah. It's got you on the professional circuit and you get your points, don't you? Because you've yeah. got to go around to do these, these internationals to get points to get in the, in the rankings, haven't you? Yeah, you have to travel like, quite a long way to get points. You pick up ranking points and it invites you into other tournaments. That's right, yeah. Lovely story about your darts, because your darts are uh, they're the lightest on the professional scene, aren't they? Yeah, they're very light. They're, they're like 12 grams. 12 grams. camera there. That's it, you see. 12 grams. 12 grams. Very so you're what we would call a light darted player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I good. knew it wouldn't work. That's the producer <laughs> that said that. We're delighted to have you because we know it's not an easy thing to do. And you'll come back again if we ask you, will you? Yes, most certainly. Super. £220. Meet our finalists because I think you'd be pleased to see them. Come in, boys. Oh, yeah, that's another shot. That's it. You got it. Okay. You've got uh, 220 pounds there, boys. Where's it going? Are you going to tell us, Trev? Yes, it's uh, the, the Grange Special School in Aldershot, which is a school for uh, handicapped children. Uh, they use video aids because the children suffer from uh, severe learning difficulties. Yes. They were recently broken into and all the video equipment was stolen. Uh -oh. So this will go to uh, help. Well, that's there. a happy ending to a rather sad tale, isn't it? Good to see Richie Gardner. Thanks, Richie. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks very much. It's great to have you on the program. Thank you. You will handle this march with ease. I'd like you to follow me, single fire, please, as we go to Bully's prize board. By the left, quick, march! <laughs> oh, can you get your hair cut? He said, he said, get your hair cut. Well done, boys, well done. Now, I'll just give you a chance to settle now after that bit of fun we had, because this is a fairly serious business. We've got black segments and red segments, and in the red segments, they're the ones we want you to hit because there are some marvellous prizes. Listen to this and have a look. In one, the pictures move but you need it with this remote control colour TV. In two, sparkling craftsmanship in these sherry glasses and decanter. In three, a smile at every station from this friendly electric train set. In four, a 
helping hand for the hostess, this heated trolley. In five. A fine bunch who will keep getting on top of each other. A nest of tables. In six. It's a finger-licking prize. It's an ice cream maker. In seven. Shout hoop hoop hooray. It's a croquet set. In eight. Don't fuss with the focus. This camera's automatic. And for this special prize... Eat out in style on this attractive patio furniture. Right. Super prize. Look at what I'm on right? Nine great prizes, nine darts. You can take them all. We hope you do well. You've gradually got your act together as the programme's gone on. We wish you every success. All right, a little poem. Just to remind you, keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. All right, off you go. The lights will help you to tell you what's gone. Off you go, Okay, Des. You're on your own time. That's red. It's number six. That's fine. That's the ice cream maker. That's black. But that is the bullseye. You've got the patio furniture. Super prize, that. Well done. That's well done. very good. OK, settle down, Trev. Off we go. That's black. Black again. Well, that's red. It's number four. That's the heated trolley. That's fine. Right. It's going well. Three to go, Des. Best of luck. That's red, it's number one. You've won the remote control, control television. Red again, number eight. Ooh, that's the automatic camera. One to go. And red Oof. again, number two. Beautiful oh. sherry glasses and decanter. You've done very, very well, boys. You have won. The remote control television, the sherry glasses and decanter, the heated trolley, the ice cream maker, the automatic camera, and Bully's special prize tonight, the patio furniture. Well done. Right, boys, you've had a great night, haven't you? You really have. £470 you take home, even if we have a fire. That goes home to you, all right? <laughs> and the £220 that Richie got, that goes down to your school down in Aldershot. The prizes are what we want you to think about. You've got quite a handful. I'm not going to say them again to you. You know what they are. Are you going to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, hiding behind Bully? You don't know what it is, but you know it's a bit special. 101 or more, six darts. Three apiece, non-dart player first. The time it takes the board to revolve to tell me what you'd like to do. Talk about it, boys. Audience, you can help them. What would you do? We're looking. We're looking at one another. We're looking. It's your decision, boys. Will you please tell me now? Gamble. Go for it. You're going to gamble. No, non dark player first. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, Trevor, take your time. It's 101 or more for tonight's star prize. Treble 20, 60. Another You've done it! You've done it! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. You're not going to believe this. Come and have a look at what you've won tonight, and all the prizes are yours. There it is. It's a Talbot Samba. Okay, all right, okay. all right. There you are. It's economic motoring, the electronic ignition, the finest of British craftsmanship. Economic motoring's all yours, and that's all on the throw of the dart. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two delighted soldiers here. Thank you very much for watching Bullseye. 101 or more, you see, it can be done. Keep practising at home. We'd like to see you on the show. Thanks very much to Richard Gardner, to our Tony Green, to our superb studio audience. And what about our contestants tonight? We are over the moon. Safe journey. See you soon. Good night. Can't beat a bit of bullet. Thank you.